now let me discuss about the drugs which will reduce the both the preload and as well as the afterload now what are those group of drugs which will reduce both the preload and as well as the afterload is they are your ac inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers so these are the drugs which will reduce both the preload and as well as the afterload now let me tell you one important mcq about this ac inhibitors and as well as angiotensin receptor blockers remember these drugs they are indicated in all grades of congestive heart failure these are indicated in all grades of congestive heart failure until unless contraindicated now what are those contraindications for this ac inhibitors and as well as angiotensin receptor blockers remember ac inhibitors they are contraindicated in case of pregnancy ac inhibitors they are contraindicated in case of bilateral renal artery stenosis ac inhibitors they are contraindicated in patients with the renal failure so until unless we have these contraindications otherwise these ac inhibitors and arbs they are given in all grades of congestive heart failure the other important point is as i have said you these drugs will decrease the mortality in patients with the congestive heart failure how do they reduce the mortality because they are inhibiting the ras pathway aldosterone is not formed because aldosterone is not being formed the cardiac remodeling will not occur in patients with congestive heart failure when you prescribe these ac inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers now let me tell you another important point in a patient ac inhibitors and arbs both of them should not be prescribed at a time because the mechanism of these ac inhibitors and arbs ultimately to inhibit the ras pathway so if you are giving both the drugs there is no added advantage if you give both these drugs if you give any one of these drug will inhibit the ras pathway and thereby that will improve the mortality in patients with the congestive heart failure now what do we want we want that the aldosterone whichever is formed in the ras pathway aldosterone whichever is formed in the ras pathway should be neutralized so we have another group of drugs which can be given in patients with the congestive heart failure now what are those drugs which can be given is the drugs which will antagonize this aldosterone so the next group of drugs what we can be given in patients with congestive heart failure is aldosterone antagonists aldosterone antagonists this aldosterone antagonists they include spironolactone and as well as epilirinone so these two drugs spironolactone and epilirinone will antagonize the aldosterone receptors basically what is this spironolactone and epilirinone are this spironolactone and epilirinone both of them they are a potassium sparing diuretics they are potassium sparing diuretics but the diuretic effect in patients with congestive heart failure by this aldosterone antagonist is very feeble the diuretic effect is 
very feeble by this aldosterone antagonist the advantage of giving this aldosterone antagonist is to neutralize the aldosterone which is formed by the ras pathway so when we are giving this particular aldosterone antagonist what is the advantage again these aldosterone antagonist they will also reduce the mortality in the individual they will also reduce the mortality in the individual how do they reduce the mortality they will reduce the mortality by antagonizing by antagonizing the effect of aldosterone so what these drugs do these drugs will cause the reversal of remodeling will cause reversal of remodeling right now let me tell you what are those group of drugs which will improve the mortality in patients with the congestive heart failure remember this is a very important mcq which will be asked the drugs which will reduce the mortality in patients with congestive heart failure the drugs which will reduce the mortality are number 1 the ac inhibitors angiotensin receptor blockers aldosterone antagonist and as well as beta blockers these are the group of drugs which will reduce the mortality in patients with the congestive heart failure let me tell you another very important point digoxin will not improve the mortality digoxin is only an inotropic agent which is given in patients with the congestive heart failure but digoxin will not improve the mortality in patients with the congestive heart failure now whenever we are giving this aldosterone antagonist what did we discuss the aldosterone antagonist diuretic action is very feeble the advantage of giving the aldosterone antagonist is to reduce the mortality but if at all a patient who is taking this aldosterone antagonist if they develop tolerance right if they develop tolerance then we will add what is called the thiazide diuretics to aldosterone antagonist we will add thiazide diuretics to this particular aldosterone antagonist if the patient develops tolerance to this particular aldosterone antagonist now let me summarize about this particular ac inhibitors arbs and as well as aldosterone antagonist so remember ac inhibitors and aldosterone antagonist they will be useful in all the grades of congestive heart failure until unless contraindicated aldosterone antagonist mainly the spironolactone and epirinone they are the aldosterone antagonist they are basically a potassium sparing diuretics they will cause the reversal of remodeling if the patient develops tolerance to this particular aldosterone antagonist then the thiazide diuretics should be added